Good afternoon. Uh, this is Dr. Vijayati, principal scientist uh, working at ICR DMR Solan uh, on post harvest management and value addition of different mushrooms. Today we will be discussing about nutritional and medicinal value of uh, different mushrooms. Mushrooms are fungi and they are usually placed in a kingdom of their own apart from plants and animals. And they contain no chlorophyll and are considered as saprophytes, means they obtain their nutrition from metabolizing non-living organic matter. If you will see the definition of mushroom, a mushroom is a fleshy spore-bearing fruiting body of a fungus, typically produced off ground of the soil or on its own food source. Generally, the standard of a name mushroom is cultivated white butter mushroom. People generally take mushroom as white butter mushroom. Hence, the word mushroom is a most often applied to those fungus, that is, Bicidiomycota and Agaricomycetes, that have stem, that is called stipe, a cap that is called pileus, and gills on the underside of the cap. The main difference between these two groups is in the way in which they produce their microscopic spores. In the Bicidiomycetes, the spores are produced externally on the, on the end of the specialized cells called Bicidia. Whereas in Ascomycetes, spores are produced internally inside a sac called as Ascus. And the gills produce microscopic spores that help the fungus spread across the ground or its occupant surface. Here you can see that uh, uh, the Bicidiospores are produced on the fruiting body, whereas uh, in the Ascospores, uh, the Ascus uh, contains uh, the spores inside a, just like a sac. You will see the uh, typically uh, mushroom body. Here you can see that mycelium is spent, then after that, uh, uh, bulva is produced. From the bulva, that uh, stem emerges out, and finally, the cap is uh, formed on the top. Here you can see that underneath the uh, cap, there are gills which contain uh, small, small spores uh, from which uh, the mushroom is. Uh, uh, multiplied because uh, otherwise mushrooms do not have any seeds. So these spores are used for the multiplication of mushrooms. In this slide you can see that uh, mushroom can be uh, differentiated or it, uh, it can be classified on the basis of uh, spore wearing surface under cap. Uh, these uh, spore wearing surfaces may be gills, pores, ridges or like teeth. Whereas uh, uh, there is other classification that is how that uh, uh, gill is attached to the stipe. Uh, there are different uh, classes that uh, adnate, adnex, decurrent, marginate, free, seeding, simulate, and subdecurrent. Whereas uh, other classification is on the basis of uh, cap morphology. Here you can see that it is campanulate, conical, convex, depressed, flat, infundibly formed, ovate, umbilicate, and umbonate. Uh, in India, uh, five mushrooms are cultivated on commercial scale. That is white butter mushroom, oyster mushroom, milky mushroom, paddy straw mushroom, and shiitake mushroom. Out of the total production, about 72 to 73% production is from white butter mushroom, followed by oyster mushroom, milky mushroom, paddy straw mushroom, and a very little quantity by shiitake mushroom. Uh, if you see the production in different countries, here you can see that China is the leader, uh, which is producing around 72%. This is old, old data, but uh, recently, uh, as per the latest data, this production is more than 80%. In India, the total production is not exactly 1%, it is less than 1%. Whereas other countries like USA, Netherlands, Poland, Spain, France, Italy, Canada, all they contribute for the total production in the world. In India, uh, the northern part is uh, dominated by white mutton mushroom, including Maharashtra. Here the central part is uh, dominated by oyster uh, mushroom. Southern part of India is uh, dominated by uh, milky mushroom, whereas the coastal area is dominated by uh, paddy straw mushroom. That shiitake mushroom has been taken up uh, on a very small scale in the northeastern states. Uh, like Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, all these uh, uh, northeastern states. 
if you see the nutritional value of mushroom here you can see there are different uh, words jumbled in a uh, one slide here you can see that it is having uh, vitamins potassium low fat tasty magnesium stimulate the immune system uh, vitamin d selenium protein anti inflammatory cancer fighting no cholesterol uh, fiber in uh, inhibit histamine release means it is uh, containing all the compounds which are required uh, for the human body for a good health it is the only vegetable which is containing vitamin d otherwise vitamin d we go, uh, used to get from the sunlight and uh, uh, this mushroom is a very rich source of vitamin d uh, it is also containing selenium protein selenium is uh, generally found in uh, non vegetarian food and uh, people who are vegetarian for them this is a delicacy because uh, selenium is also available in uh, good quantity in mushroom and selenium used to boost the immune system nowadays uh, this is the high time because uh, because of this covid 19 everybody is talking about immunity and if you we'll take uh, mushroom at regular intervals uh, means twice or thrice in a week so we can boost our immunity and uh, we can control that uh, corona means covid 19 it is a rich source of vitamin uh, vitamins as well as protein if you see the health benefits of mushroom here you can see that if you keep the mushroom in the center uh, it will uh, it is used to lower the cholesterol level because it is not containing uh, high fat it used to prevent the breast and prostate cancer it improves the bone health because it is containing uh, so many minerals including calcium it boosts the immune system because already i told you that it is having selenium uh, which is a, a major component for uh, boosting of our uh, immune system uh, so many minerals like copper selenium phosphorus potassium mineral, vitamins like riboflavin niacin pantothenic acid vitamin d and nutrients like protein dietary fiber and carbohydrates including calories uh, all these components are available in good quantity in mushrooms it used to reduce the blood pressure also because it is containing high quantity of potassium the salt which we used to take it is containing sodium but when we are taking mushroom it is containing high quantity of uh, potassium and potassium generally used our uh, reduce our blood pressure it uh, stimulates stimulates the absorption of iron whatsoever we are taking uh, food and uh, if uh, absorption absorption of iron is not proper then uh, there will be a uh, problem of uh, hemoglobin in our body so it used to absorb good quantity of iron then it used to lose the weight because it is uh, having less fat and very uh, low carbohydrates so because of uh, these two uh, components uh, low in quantity uh, it generally used to uh, control your weight means obesity will not come further it protects uh, diabetes uh, because uh, carbohydrates and starch are very less so people who are suffering from the diabetes uh, for them this is a delicacy and they can take uh, mushroom at regular intervals and it will check your diabetes mushroom as i already have told that is a rich source of uh, protein uh, on the dry weight basis it contains around 30 to 35% of uh, protein and uh, uh, there are wide uh, range of essential amino acids uh, low in it is low in fat that is 0.3 to 2% high in fiber provide several groups of vitamins particularly thiamine riboflavin niacin biotin and ascorbic acid well nutrients vary from one kind of mushroom uh, all the uh, all the nutrients are not exactly same in all the mushroom there may be uh, some difference uh, in protein vitamin a and c vitamin b vitamins minerals including iron selenium potassium phosphorus if you see that uh, uh, this is a complete and quality food because all the nutrients required in our body that is carbohydrate protein fat minerals vitamins and growth promoting substances they are all are in balanced proportion means whatsoever our body requires everything is available in mushroom if you see the carbohydrates uh, starch are very less means no starch sugars are very less so already i have told that this is a delight for diabetics 
fibers are dietary and fermentable means uh, some of the uh, fibers uh, are not digestible uh, so they will help to uh, is act your that uh, uh, bowel movement uh, they help in uh, bowel movement so it will help to avoid constipation and uh, already i have told that it is this it contains uh, that calorie calorific value is very less so it will prevent the obesity protein is a resource on uh, fresh bread basis uh, it varies from 4 to 12% and high biological value, value means uh, whatsoever the protein will be take uh, through mushroom it will be absorbed in our body means about 80 to 90% Uh, protein is also available in pulses also but uh, the protein available in pulses is not uh, absorbed uh, 100% in our body that 30 to 40% of uh, the protein available in the pulses is, uh, is absorbed and the rest is uh, it is uh, it used to come out uh, from our body then it is rich in threonine and valine uh, good for infant children pregnant and lactating women and but uh, some uh, uh, amino acids like methionine and cysteine they are deficient in uh, uh, mushroom here you can see that uh, uh, it fights malnutrition also and in uh, some of the african countries this quasi or core disease is prevalent means uh, you can see here that uh, their uh, belly the belly of the children they will bulge out and their uh, growth will be stunted skin will be uh, ruptured and their um, hair will will be uh, In, not in good condition uh, we'll see that what are the symptoms the quasi core quasi or core is a severe form of malnutrition caused by a deficiency in dietary protein because in these countries they are not taking uh, food containing good quantity of uh, protein they are taking uh, uh, carbohydrates uh, rich food the extreme lack of protein causes an osmotic imbalance in the gastrointestinal intestinal system causing swelling of the gut diagnosed as an edema or retention of water because of retention of the water in the belly uh, that uh, belly will bulge out here you can see that uh, uh, these are some of the symptoms means uh, producing the belly will be bulge out brownish hair will be there dark and scaly skin stunted growth underweight swollen legs loss of appetite uh, anemia will be there then mental retardation and reduce resistance means uh, they will not have any, uh, will not have any resistance in their body and at uh, 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 very often they will uh, fall sick the fat is very low it's less than 1 to 8% and the the fat which is available that is high unsaturated and uh, cholesterol is uh, very low or it's absent so all these uh, contribute for the good uh, for the hearts uh, who is, uh, the people who are suffering from heart problem for them it's a Uh, good food they can take as much as they can and uh, it is containing ergosterol is sterol that is called ergosterol which is a precursor of vitamin d you will see the vitamins it's a uh, b complex are available in uh, good quantity that is thymine b1 b2 niacin biotin and uh, it will uh, check uh, so many uh, diseases that is very very skin cracks smooth tongue pellagra dermatitis and hair loss so all these uh, uh, diseases or disorders in our body will be checked if you are taking mushrooms at regular intervals because of very uh, good quantity of vitamins it is poor in a e and k vitamin because uh, uh, vitamin a is prevalent in uh, colored and uh, green vegetables e is available in uh, uh, the food which is having high fat when uh, this uh, mushroom is exposed to uv light uh, so that uh, vitamin which is available vitamin d which is available in uh, mushroom it uh, used to increase uh, substantially and then traces of folic acid and vitamin b12 are also available in uh, mushrooms uh, minerals and trace elements uh, ash content is very high uh, up to 9% and that uh, the ash out of the that 9% 45% of that ash is potassium uh, phosphorus sodium calcium is also available then it's a uh, so it's a good source of selenium selenium already i told you and it augments your immune system means it boost your immunity iron and copper uh, they improve your blood circulation then here you can see that uh, potassium sodium ratio is very high means 
potassium is 110 and uh, uh, sodium is just one. There are so many enzymes like aromatase uh, that is produce estrogen, then other alkaloids like uh, cordyceptin, lectin, lovacetin, uh, they uh, used to perform different functions in our body. Sterols, already I have told you that this is an ergosterol uh, which performs the same function as cholesterol in animal membranes, namely modulating membrane fluidity and permeability through its interactions with phospholipids and other membrane constituents. It is containing antioxidants also like ascorbic acid and triterpenoids. Antioxidants uh, uh, will check that uh, free radicals in our, in our body and uh, uh, will live uh, longer with a good uh, young life means uh, your uh, you will be look, look you will be looking uh, younger uh, even if your age is uh, high uh, unidentified there are different unidentified complex organic compounds uh, for which uh, research is continued cordyceptin uh, it is available in cordyceps it is uh, anti inflammatory actions and uh, it works at the lesion sites of the diseases then lectins, they are found in white water mushroom, induce growth of pancreatic beta cells, uh, leading to an increase in the production of insulin. Lovastatin, uh, it's found in uh, dengue mushroom, responsible for inhibition of cholesterol synthesis. Then lantinin, it's available in shiitake, and it is a water-soluble beta-glucone in the cell wall that appears to enhance the activity of dendritic cells that are involved in the recognition of cancer cells. Means the cancerous cells uh, won't uh, be produced in our body if we are taking uh, shiitake at regular intervals. You'll see the composition because already have, I have discussed so many things. Mushrooms are having very little sodium, little fat and zero cholesterol. They are rich in vitamin, vitamins, mainly B complex, riboflavin, niacin, folate, pentothenic acid, thiamine and B6. And it is also a rich source of vitamin D. Then antioxidants in the mushrooms include ergothionine, that is protection against cardio cardiovascular disease, chronic inflammatory conditions, ultraviolet radiation damages, and neural neural neuronal injuries. Mushrooms are a powerhouse of minerals. Already we have discussed that it is containing so many minerals, including potassium, copper, zinc, selenium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, and calcium. A medium mushroom has more potassium than a glass of orange juice or a banana. Means if you are taking mushroom at regular intervals, so uh, that requirement of your body, that potassium requirement will be fulfilled. A serving of 100 gram of mushrooms supplies 40 to 60 percent of daily copper requirement. The selenium is mainly found in animal proteins. Already we have discussed. So the mushrooms is the best source of selenium for vegetarians. Selenium is an extremely vital mineral for the human body as it increases the immunity. Already we have discussed that uh, now this is a topic of the uh, modern time that uh, we have to boost our immunity, taking part in antioxidant activity that defends against free radical damage and inflammation and plays a key role in maintaining a healthy metabolism. Our metabolism will be uh, good if you are taking a mushroom containing uh, selenium. The source of the antibiotic penicillin, mushrooms have natural antibiotics with antifungal and antimicrobial properties. Means uh, it will uh, not allow any uh, disorder or disease in your body if you are taking vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Since mushrooms contribute to their preventive and curative properties and health benefits. Potassium helps to lower blood pressure and prevent strokes. Copper prevents cardiac problems while zinc ensures uh, proper metabolis metabolic functioning and cal calcium strengthens bones and iron prevents anemia. Uh, selenium in combination with beta uh, glucans and linonic acid in mushrooms prevent cancer and cell damage due to free radicals. It is also beneficial for the teeth, nails, bones and hair. Antioxidants boost immunity and prevent infections. Uh, antioxidants are mole molecules which can safely interact with free radicals and terminate the chain reaction before vital molecules are damaged. The combination of protein, fiber, and vitamin B helps to maintain a healthy metabolism in human body. Here you can see that these are the sources of free radicals because of these uh, sources, uh, free radicals are formed in our body that is smoking, pollution, 
drugs toxic metals radiation industrial chemicals pesticides and alcohol because nowadays whatsoever we are taking in our food it is uh, full of pesticides and so many other chemicals so because of that free radicals are form formed in the body and these free radicals uh, will damage your cells in the, in our body and you will uh, become old aged uh, you, you, you will be looking like old age in, uh, in very young age and uh, what the antioxidants will do that uh, uh, when that uh, unpaired electron is found in our body because of these free radicals antioxidant will donate one of the uh, electron and that chain will be completed and that uh, effect of free radicals in our body means damaging the uh, our cells uh, it will be stopped there and uh, there there won't be uh, any damage to the uh, cells in our body and will remain young for more time uh these were the some of the uh, mushrooms uh, which are having uh, uh, medicinal properties here you can see that uh, ganoderma cordyceps sinensis and cordyceps militaris uh, uh ganoderma lucidum this is called lingji or receive mushroom also it's a uh, unique mushroom and uh, uh, having a good uh, uh, use in pharmaceutical rather than nutritional because uh, it is a bitter in taste but uh, it's having so many uh, medicinal properties and this is generally used in pharmaceutical uh, uh, base a variety, variety of uh, commercial uh, ganoderma lucidum produce, uh, products are available in various forms such as powders dietary supplements and tea one of the company that is dxn they are making different products of uh, ganoderma which are available in the market and it uh, uh, has many medicinal properties like antioxidative anti cancer anti tumor anti microbial anti fungal anti viral anti inflammatory and rishi mushroom improves uh, oxygen utilization uh, because whatsoever the oxygen they are taking in our body uh, when we are taking uh, with the this uh, ganoderma so it has been found that uh, more oxygen will be uh, used in our in our body means uh, uh, it will help to immune uh, boost the immune system improve the liver functions improve blood circulation immunological disease will be checked hypertension then tumor genesis uh, and then it will it will regulates and fine tunes the immune system means uh, uh, nowadays uh, as already we have uh, talked that uh, uh, it's high time to uh, talk about the humanity so if we'll take that ganoderma powder uh, uh, even if in a little quantity it will boost up your uh humanity and uh, uh, there won't be any problem uh, because of this covid 19 also then covid sign uh, this cordyceps sinensis that is called kida jadi uh, it is recommended for all illnesses means if any disease there if uh, this uh, mushroom is available or its uh, products are available it, these products can be uh, used for any uh, disease or any illnesses as tonic because it is claimed that it improves energy appetite stamina libido endurance patience and then sleeping patterns it is a rare combination of a caterpillar and fungus found in sikkim uttarakhand and himachal pradesh at an altitude of 3800 meters then cordyceps militaris uh, it is uh, also good mushroom but it contains less cordycepin as compared to cordyceps uh, sinensis uh, its beneficial beneficial effect, effect uh, effects are and anti inflammatory antioxidant anti aging anti tumor anti cancerous anti microbial anti bacterial anti so many so many uh, good uh, this uh, uh, medicinal properties are available in this mushroom also and uh, uh, icdmr sorum has already uh, started cultivation of this mushroom whereas the cordyceps sinensis uh, it is still available only in the forest uh i have given one uh, uh, slogan that khumb isliye mahan banaye rakhe sada jawan it will take uh, mushroom at regular intervals uh, your uh, humidity will be good you will have all the nutrients in your body and uh, but uh, one thing uh, we should take care that uh, we should take mushroom at regular intervals not once in uh, six months or in a year but once or twice in uh, in a week Uh, but so all the mushroom is available in you, 
in uh, your area you must take that mushroom we should not uh, run that we have to take only button mushroom or we have to take this mushroom or that mushroom but so the mushroom is available uh, in any area we should take because there may be little difference uh, between the uh, this nutritional and medicinal value so what some of the uh, this mushroom is available in any area we should uh, focus we, to, we should take that mushroom instead of seeing that will uh, take mushroom from other areas <clears throat> for any query uh, anybody can contact me at atri vl underscore cith at readyhmail.com it is my email and my mobile number is 9456553718 so uh, this was in short uh, what are the different uh, nutritional and medicinal value of different mushrooms so thank you very much